Ha, did you get that? Hmm? We're gonna beat you guys. Mm. We are. Just you wait and see. Tech4 will have a super nice build planned for you guys. Super crisp. Four base timing attack with swarm hosts and 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 and, and infestors, hit squads of infestors everywhere. At the same time, you'll see. You'll see. You will be fucked up. All in, all in, all in, all in. Hype, 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 hype. If that isn't worth a cheer, I don't know what it is. All in, all in, all in, all in. Go team, go team. My two favorite Apex buddies, Jim Tony and Bunny, will beat everyone. After Tech 4 and God Quail beat them to a pulp. Yes, that's how we run. That's what we do. That's what we do. Don't you worry, guys. Don't you worry, the stream is back. I just wrote you guys. It's gonna take two minutes for, for the stream to reach where, where the, the Discord is at now, but it's gonna be coming back any second, I promise. Trust in the Fisbin. Trust in the Fisbin. And it looks like OpX is ready and asking if we are as well. So we are about to jump into game number one. I'm a guard. Hype, 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 hype. Tech 4 says he's gonna play with his racing wheel just to make it an even match. <laughs> Oh yes, the trash talk is real. The trash talk. But first, Gut Quail has to prove himself versus Bio Ice ZBZ. Can Gut Quail prevail? Or will Bio Ice be unnice to Gut Quail? We will see. Oh yes, we will see. Hmm. Hmm, okay, my mic. I hope my mic is loud enough. It should be, I guess. Ah, my queen of blades. Looking so angry all the time. She not happy. No. What now? I'm you, I probably shouldn't. Thank you, Bunny. Thank you, Bunny, my man, inviting me there. All in, all in, whatever happens, we will win. All in, all in. 
Back them up and sew them in. All in, all in. Whatever happens, we will win. All in, all in. Back them up and sew them in. Hua. All in, all in. Race check, race check. Why the fuck is my moustache concerning, man? Look at it, it's magnificent. It's magnificent, man. <laughs> Are we watching the moustache stream? Just try something real quick here. Look at this magnificent fucking beard. Moustache. Whatever. When you start to lose hair on your head, you have to have hair in your face, boys. That's how it goes. Huh? That's how we roll. Uh, God Quail is still in BRB mode. So we're gonna have to keep the pressure up you know like yeah like uh i don't know keep the power level high keep the power level high you know don't give up just informing you that uh, there is now um little chef hats as icons for my subscribers and subscribers also get a gg out of cheese which is of course Interesting for the omelette de fromage, you know. So, yeah, think about it. The perks are real. Also, you get a special role in my Discord server. You'll find the information below the stream. How to join the Discord. You can join the kitchen team as a pot boy, you know. Or you can become an actual chef if you subscribe. You know, it's worth, uh, worth the thinking about it. You know? Whatever you do, send me your replays, because I want to cast them on Sunday. Not this Sunday, because I'm already full, but next Sunday I need more. I always need more. As I said, once I have a abundant library of replays, I will actually do two casts or three casts a week. I don't care. I cast every day for you, if you want it. But I need replays for that, so go out, do some crazy fucking cheese, and send me the replays. Thank you, Tech. Appreciate it. God quail, God quail, God quail, God quail, God quail, God quail.
Well, now you're starting, god damn it. Well, now I wanted to play a song to, to uh, keep the energy level high, but I guess not. <coughs> okay, let's get this cast on the road. Automaton spawning top left from Alpha X. It's Bio Ice, the pink Zerg facing off versus Blue, the God Quail, the one and only all inspiration. Blue Zerg, God Quail. Does he have Quail or not? We don't know. We will see. God Quail opting for the early pool. No gas. Meanwhile, Bio Ice looks like he is going for the 17 hatch. Might be 17 pool still. Let's hope it's a hatch because this will give Gut Quail an advantage. Yes, it's gonna be hatch first. This means Gut Quail has a window where he might do damage with his early lings. Since the rush, rush, rush distance is not too far here, it might be interesting. Although the lings are, of course, gonna be slow. There are still going to be links while his opponent does not have any links. So if he doesn't react perfectly, he might actually find trouble. Taking the gas afterwards, so it's not super all in. He's preparing already to transition out of his link play. And uh, first links are out. Eight links in total are being made. Hatch is planted and he will now have to try and evade the Overlord. He of course knows where the Overlords go, so it should not be a problem. Does not get spotted. These links might actually, will they? Ooh, it's gonna be close. Wow, that was, I, even a GM, I don't think you see that as a GM. Even, even on the minimap, that cannot have been more than half a blip. The hatchery will be finished and this means that it already has armor so it would have been better if he had hit it a bit before but it's not really possible i think unless maybe the 12 pool and uh, we can see bio eyes here with the perfect reaction he's pulling all his drones has to be careful though he shouldn't lose more than two drones or he will be behind although currently he's actually seven workers ahead okay and workers start to die here, but the links for God Quail are being driven back. And he lost five workers there. That's a nice trade, I guess, for three links. And the hatch is out now as well, but Bio Eye still has the worker advantage. And it looks like God Quail tries to keep the pressure alive by making more links. Speed should be finishing up soon. But then again, as soon as uh, Bio Eye sees his links moving out, he can just make links of his own because he has vision of the entrance of God Quail's bales and also of the other entrance. So it's hard for God Quail. He will pull links now, I guess, until he has a tremendous number and then attack as soon as he can, which should be as soon as the next round pops because then speed will be finished as well. He will try to drive off the Overlord. Overlord will still spot this. And there's actually links. Oh, if he can pick off his links, that's gonna be super nice for him because then he will have the link advantage for sure. And basically what he should be doing is he should be droning super hard now behind this, I think. Although I, I'm just a plat zerg, you know, what do I know? 
And as we can see, BioEyes is reacting with links of his own, but there is a short window, of course, until these links pop. And if he can pick off enough drones, then he might be okay there. Should probably try to fight on the ramp, should really try to pick up those, as many of those drones as he can. Because right now, BioEyes is a tremendous advantage. And yeah, this will get cleaned up. He took down a lot of drones again, but if he doesn't start droning, then he will have a problem. If he can, of course, take down the third the, the, the expansion, then it's a whole other story. Bio is now opting to get the bailing nest. I'm not sure. I, I don't know if Godquail should try to transition here. Should have tried to transition. He's building more and more links, and of course, as soon as bio I stops building links he's gonna be in a disadvantage again but currently he has enough links out and the baneness is about to pop once the baneness pop it's so dangerous it's so hard to tell who's gonna win i think Godquill might have had the upper hand but the defender's advantage will snowball into bio eyes's favor and uh, it's looking hard for Godquill here as soon as the as soon as there's bane links popping it's gonna be almost impossible to do anything here and the First three bandings are being morphed now. The window for Godquill is closing very, very rapidly here. And uh, of course, well aware of this is Godquill. And that's the GG. Map 1 goes to Alpha, Alpha X. Good game. Good game indeed. Next game is ready. It's gonna be Tech 4 versus Uzi Koti. We have the lobby open. The map is going to be King's Cove. And ZVT this time. <clears throat> I'm sorry you had to hear it. I thought I muted it, but I didn't. <clears throat> Got a bit of a cold. Well, I'm pretty sure we can play east. Why would you go to central? Because tech 4 is in east, so we can easily play east. It's gonna be better for the EU guy. Hey, Cameron. So nice of you to join us. You recall anything of what you wrote this morning? Are you feeling better? <laughs> All right, moving into game number two. Game number two. Here we go, introducing our players. Remake, okay. Jack four. Doom, 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 Doom 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 So Tech Force is gonna remake so we are on uh, EUS East server. Mm. 
Boom. Joining the game because I'm a friend of Tech4. Believe it or not, he's actually my friend. Ah. You all wish you had a friend like this. <laughs> Moving into game two, it's King's Cove, Tech Four versus Uzi Koti, all in versus Alpex Zerg. Versus Terran. The oldest matchup in the book. The original. The ever, never, ever, ever ending war between humans and bucks. Yes, I was. Indeed, Cameron. I was playing Apex with Jim, Tony and Bunny. Because we're Apex buddies. In the top left, the purple menace, the man himself, the Zerg of Zergs. It's all inspirations. Tech 4. Facing off versus the unknown constant, Alpha X's Terran Grandmaster. It's Yuzi Coty, the French boy. Boom, there we go, Teal Terran. Now let's see what we got here. Some weird shit is going down. Well, not really weird, it's a 1312. As we can see, two drones move into gas. The third one is added as well. Meanwhile, Terran builds a depot and moves across the map. Nope, he builds his barracks on the low ground to start his wall off immediately because he knows the pressure's gonna be high on him. He has to perform here. Should he lose, the humiliation will be never ending never ending indeed and we cannot have him humiliated can we now the overlord is saying <laughs> and moving across the map another one is scouting for weird shit that's going on in this region here there are my proxies you never know with terran these days it's dangerous second barracks going down so uzi koti Planning to be aggressive as well. No 111 builds here. No fast expansions here. It's a 3-Rex. Probably a 3-Rex Reaper or Marine or whatever. But Tech 4 will notice shortly. He's flying in. But of course, this will counter his early link pressure very nicely. Although, the wall is not finished. Will the wall be finished in time? Can Tech 4 enter the base of his Terran opponent or can his Terran opponent wall off in time? Reapers are being made. Speedlings are almost done though. If we look at the production top, which the caster usually forgets to bring up, but now managed speed is at 50%. So it's going to take some more seconds to bring speed out here. The Reaper passes by the Lings, both unaware of each other. More Reapers are being made. The wall is finished, almost finished. And this will spell disaster for tax for attack. Should the wall finish here? Can the wall be put down? Yes, the wall is down. Oh my god. The wall is down. And it looks like we have an early Reaper. The Queen can, of course, the third is tech for indecisive here. Sees, of course, what's going on. And knows that there is some Reaper pressure coming his way. Immediately he gets a lair. He gets a second gas. This was, of course, for his follow-up. <clears throat> Lings are good versus Reapers unless there are like five or six of them then Reapers might be able to snowball but Speedlings are a good counter and he will look for the Reapers now so he can keep the count low the expansion is being put down now for both parties actually okay so this might transition into a macro game maybe not what Tech 4 was expecting here or wanting he wanted to put on the pressure but Yuzi Koti was playing pressures himself and four reaper can absolutely contest these few speedlings that are out now there's only one queen to defend this and four links the rest of the links died i guess yes looks like so it's going to be a tough hold here for tech four even more reapers are being added now mutas are the, the, the spire is on the way but as you can see, Reapers are super strong in numbers. They are super low, but they will regenerate so fast. 
you won't even notice that those reapers are gone it's like blinking back a stalker and it comes back with full health boom there we go tech 4 has reapers in his mineral line they one shot the probes and the massacre has started there's a new queen out but can he prevail there's eight seven re seven reapers out now this queen will die so tremendously fast speedlings are coming out on top of the reapers but they are being controlled so well by by uc Coty. The tech force seems to be lost here. He has to sacrifice his drones in order to try and take down those Reapers. And the GG is called. Alpex, the tryhards with the GM squad, take us to 0 2. Well played. And now I need a drink. I'll be right back. Mistakes were made, ladies and gentlemen, but it's only Coke Zero. It's not sticky. <laughs> Damn it. Those Coke bottles, they always make thinner plastic. When I used to be a kid, the plastic was so thick you could actually hit somebody bloody with it. It's like a plastic baseball bat. Next up, Year Zero, Bunny Villas versus Mamba. TVZ. Discussions are going down on who should host the game because Bunny Wheelers is from West and uh, Mamba is from Europe. So Central would probably be the, the server of choice. Let's see how they settle this. Looks like Bio Eyes opened the game. Maybe. I'm not sure if he opened the game for us or if he plays a ladder game now. Might be both, of course. Mamba is ready though, and so is Bunny Willis, who will have the honor of um, defending versus. Doom. Can someone make a game up? Please open the game. Open, open, open the game. I am still waiting. Bonnie Willis has been asked questions. 
So yes, the game should be placed on East for the European. We'll start shortly. Game is being opened as we speak. And I should be invited shortly. <clears throat> Just waiting for the invite. Oh. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Invite me, boys. Invite me. Invite me. There we go. Bonnie Willis is in. I can. Join the game after him. Papal. Why is it always pink and red with these guys? Damn GMs, man. Damn GMs, man. And uh, we're waiting for a member. Member, where is the member? Member, member, you member? Pending, great. Member FK. Oh, there we go. Green, yes, thank you. That's, see, red versus green. That works. Red versus green. Bonnie Willis says he's ready, ready to kick some Terran butt, no, Zerk butt, Terran ready to kick some Zerk butt, drop in 12 places at once, destroy absolutely every drone there is, and win the game, that's how we roll with the Terran, I'm excited actually to cast this game, two GMs going at it for the honor of their teams, it's gonna be awesome. Come on, start it already. Come on, dude. Don't didn't have time to prepare in the last ten minutes. What's wrong with you, man? Just start already. Come on. Come on. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Checking Bunny Willis's match history? Hmm? Hmm? What? What are you doing? Everybody's waiting for you, Mamba. There we go. Now I guess we have to wait for Sally Wenth to get back and press the ready button. Players said they're ready. There we go. Game starting. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Year Zero is the map. ZVT, TVZ is the matchup. In the top left of Year Zero, it's the Green Zerg. It's Alp Axis Mamba. Facing off versus all inspirations, very own Blue Terran. It's Bonnie Willis! Saying good luck, have fun, trading niceties, making supply depots, making drones, 
showing the production tab because useful information can be displayed there. Overlord moving across the map. So let's see. Bunny Willis can bring our inspiration back here, back on track. There's gonna be a expansion first here for Mamba, which is of course pretty standard in CVT. Zerg likes his expansions early and numerous. So would Terran, but for Terran it's just not as safe as for Zerg. Because the Zerg can be bitchy if they make lots of links early and just go destroy stuff on the other side of the map, right? That's how it rolls. That's how it rolls. And uh, scouting? No, it's gonna be an early expansion as well. The Reaper will do the scouting. Meanwhile, overlords are being spread out looking for proxies. Mamba, very cautious here. Gas has been taken. Pool is almost done. There will be queens and link speed as an immediate follow-up here to this and we will see what bunny will do once the reaper pops i am guessing it's going to be a factory and a starport and standard play from bunny because he's confident in his he's confident in his macro game he is a gm after all and a very skilled one at that there is a probe moving out to the third base so it will not get deterred by the Reaper. And it looks like it will actually succeed in moving down there. Oh, actually it's gonna be a hidden base. No, he's just gonna hide it so the Reaper doesn't spot it. And the Reaper will actually go down here and look. He sees no third base. He's checking the other side as well. And... Uh, He'll try to poke back in. There's a queen waiting, as well as Lings and the second queen, so not much is going to be done there. He sees the third go down. It's all the information he needs. He cannot prevent it anymore. And behind this, he has made a factory. He will do a, a starport. And we will see Stim being researched very shortly here. Once the tech lab finishes, of course, two Hellions are the follow-up, which is also pretty standard. And uh, the Reaper is still around for more scouting. We'll see, is the third still there? Was it just a fake out? And Speedlings are now out on the map, which make this Reaper's life. Which put, which put a timer on this Reaper's life. There's gonna be a Liberator mate. Possibly to try and tickle Overlords to death or to find some damage here. There is a lot of free space here, so it should be possible to place it decently so the zerg cannot take it down immediately the overlord will get taken down spots the hellions coming out in his dying breath and uh, two hellions are already here we'll try to find some damage but the two queens will deter that two more hellions are moving across but even with four hellions queens are very good at killing those because queens have a nice range and it's gonna be tough to do anything although i guess you can you can roast Reap tumors with four hellions. Now, where are those hellbats? Queens would struggle more, but uh, for that you need, of course, an armory. See, yeah, okay, he can take out creep tumors immediately, and even lings are not. Lings of creep will have a hard time dealing with those hellions if they're microed correctly. Meanwhile, okay, did the liberator get? No, liberator did not get any kills. Um, Mamba is on top of his defenses here and the follow-up will be as we said stim and probably medivac production and we're moving into barracks so it's gonna be bioplay from Bunny Willis here supported by some Hellions and possibly Widow Mines trying to take down an overlord of course a rap <laughs> a Liberator doesn't really do much damage versus air they're very good with multiple Liberators versus Mutas, for example, because of the splash damage, but one Liberator versus Noble Lord will take forever to kill it, as you saw. But at least he deterred the Overlord a bit, he had to be pulled back. And as you can see, those Queens don't take any damage at all from these Hellions. 
it's just how it is if the queens get too far off creep however the hellions might be able to kite them a bit liberator went down without me seeing okay four drones that's not too bad actually somewhat decent oh the hellions are taking down one queen is nice but it's not essential for zerg to have these queens unless terran plans to follow this up with something where uh, terran where zerg needs a lot of queens those queens really want that hellion there don't they protecting their creep spread their precious creep and now we have some speedlings here out on the map as well taking his third is bunny willis the third, third for zerg is ready up the fourth is coming up of course zerg likes to stay ahead a base and we have siege tanks and marines now moving across the map one one will finish and combat field is underway as well stim is already ready and the armory so we will have some hellbats in the mix as well which will deal with links very nicely there is banelings however which will prevent bunny wheels from attacking effectively on creep he needs to be very very careful speed is on the way for the banelings as well and okay Okay, so it's going to be Ling Muda, Ling Bling Muda versus Bio Marine. And one Ling gets roasted immediately. I don't think, yeah, maybe he saw. Maybe he saw the army, or at least part of the army. This Hellion's basically dead. There's like two hits, two Ling hits away from death. Ooh, nice, nice pickup here. Taking out all these active. Transforming the Medivacs. Tanks are unseached. Oh, very bad positioning here. Although most of the... Ah, oh, nice actually, okay. he Did he do that on purpose? Did he use the, the tanks to detonate the banelings? A little bit of a miscontrol there by Memba. And it looked like a miscontrol from Buddy, but it might have been intentional to detonate to detonate the, link, the banelings on the tanks. And he will probably try to clean up more creep here. Scan incoming... Oh, he's actually gonna miss that active creep tumor there. That's so sad. Oh, lots of links are coming in, and he will surround these medivac, these marines, and take them out. Some small portion gets saved, and now Zerg could be attacking if he wanted to. But of course, Terran will have walls up. Terran will have defenses ready. Although there is nothing really to defend at the moment for Bunny. Loads and loads of links. Oh, I actually missed the drop, okay. Trying to take out some queens, some overlords. Something, the links are on the way though, but he can abuse this cliff a bit. Nice pick up there. Moving down again, but the mutas are out now. Well, four mutas cannot contest two medevex full of marines. Taking at least some damage here. But there's a timer on this as well. Once he, Yeah, there's too many mutas now. Although every muta he loses is very, very expensive and... Yeah, well, he can't load up now because the mutas will kill the medevax and this drop finally gets cleaned up. Lost some mutas there, so not a complete waste. Meanwhile, dropping down here as well. I'm sorry, I'm not a GM. I cannot deal with two-pronged attacks, so how am I supposed to cast it? I'm sorry about this, but all oh, this drop got deterred as well. No real damage done here. Member is ahead, as is expected. And... Uh, these mariners will be able to easily take out the mutas. There's not too many yet, but there's banelings and lings ready as well. And that's a scary amount of lings. It's hard to deal with, but there's lots of widow mines which might be able to find some damage here. It's very hard to deal with widow mines. It's, taking, it's very micro intensive here. It looks like he decides to go up there. Okay. Trying to attack the third direct, the fourth directly. But uh, it's either going to be a run by, it looks like it's going to be a Ling run by here. Let's hope Bunny is paying attention and will close the gates in time, otherwise, he will be in deep shit. And he should have ample time to do this. Close, close, close. Yes, okay. Well done. Thor gets safe there and we have two queens dying here but now the banelings are moving in there's a bit of a pre-split going oh, the banelings take out all the banelings that's awesome for bunny actually 
very nicely done there. Link count is not where he should be. The Mutas cannot contest this in Green Ball. There's more links coming in, and he was a bit ah, it was a bit greedy here. They are going too far in on the creep, and he will lose this push. Meanwhile, we have some links here in the mineral line, and some more links down here. The Thor. Where is the Thor? The Thor seems to have been taken out. Nope, the Thor seems to be there. Okay. Links have been cleaned up, but lots and lots of workers have been lost here by Bunny, and he probably has one or two more good attacks in him, but then. If he doesn't do crippling damage, it's gonna be it. There were 28 SEVs killed here by the Ling run by. And the muta count is getting higher and higher as well. Oh, the Widow Mine's not hitting what they should. Taking out all the banings nonetheless, and now taking out those overseers. Thors are very good in dealing with Mutas because they have splash damage, of course, you know this. But some links made it into the base, taking out another six SCVs here. And cleaning up the creep once again. You can see here in this example how important creep spread is for Zerg. If there's creep, Terran cannot attack on creep if the Zerg has Bane links in sufficient numbers. Of course, if the Zerg decides to just detonate okay he managed to take out the thors and bunny is forced to gg thus Arpex is taking a 3-0 lead and i am guessing the game number four will not be played because Arpex won is that it congratulations to alpha x for taking this week and congratulations to all inspiration for giving it their best shot And uh, thank you everybody for watching this ATL cast, All In versus Alpha X. And uh, I'll be seeing you on Sunday, latest, when it's time for an omelette to fromage. Make sure to send in your replay, please. Have a nice evening and enjoy some weekend gaming. Bye bye.